All right, shall we do this thing? I think we should probably do this thing. So if you know the drill, if you're coming in a little bit later, go ahead and uh, you know skip ahead a few minutes. We'll let people wander in. And uh, in the meantime, I'll, I'll tweet out that we're live and all that stuff. So you can skip ahead a little bit if you want to get to the good stuff. Uh, but for now, welcome. Uh, let's see, I want to put it on Facebook. Oops. Uh, while I am setting up here, uh, if you come in, just hop over to the chat. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know that you're here. That would be lovely. Okay. And one more for Discord. Oops. Okay. So, now that that's done, I know I should be setting up a little button so that I never have to touch that stuff again. Two streams at once, Alex. What do you mean two streams at once? Two of my streams or you're watching somebody else? What do you mean? Okay. While you answer that, Spook's friend. Oh, <laughs> how far is Spook's friend on that? I would like to know. What's uh, yeah? What's going on with that one? Because that is that is some compelling stuff potentially. Gotta love those last fifty pages. Okay. That. No oh, wait. Just started. Okay. Well, he's gonna be doing that for a while. Keep an eye on that. That could be a lot of fun. Mute me if you have to. That's fine. Fine. Okay. But we are going to be doing this today. Working on his, or he's about to start at the turn of the hour. Okay, so he's kind of talking about it right now. All right, that makes sense. Um, we are going to be ranking stuff. So, <laughs> well, Alex, good luck with that. Uh, we're going to be ranking the TBR pile. Partly what I want to do is get to know, you know, what obviously I know what you guys want us to read. I get the recommendations, but kind of uh, get a sense of what I might be missing from my list. And also, I'm ready to order about 50 more books from Amazon. So, uh, so I, you know, give me all the suggestions, and I'm just going to load up an Amazon shopping cart and go crazy with this. So, let's start just listing. Give, give me your lists of, uh, you know, authors and series and whatnot that you want. Hey, NBZ, that's actually literally exactly why I'm doing this, is uh, so that our friends in Europe and elsewhere might have a chance to, uh, to join in where they normally wouldn't. So I'm glad you're here. Uh, so shout out your, uh, the, the series, the authors, the books that you want us to read on the show. This is not a guarantee that we're actually going to get to them, but I want to start uh, looking at them, listing them, ranking them, and uh, getting them on our shelf back here. Uh, so that it's even a possibility. I'll tell you one uh, one thing right now is uh, Song of Ice and Fire. So hopefully you can read that. Tell me if it's difficult at all to read. Um, I tried to make it uh, as as large as I reasonably could. Naomi Novik. Um, let's see. Is that Temeraire from Naomi Novik? Uh, let's see, The Expanse. Who wrote that one? 
Oops, George Martin wrote the expanse. All right, while you guys are doing that, I am going to, uh, uh, oops, yeah, I'm going to look up some of these authors and whatnot. James Corey, thank you. Uh, James Corey. Glenn Cook's Black Company. Yep, we get that a lot. Is that 2N? Uh, Glenn Cook, the Black Company. Okay. Who else we got? The Culture, Ian Banks. The Culture, I've never even heard of this. Oops. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The Culture. Goodness. All right. Rook. Bye. Malay. Okay, I'm gonna throw in there. N.K. Jemison. Uh, what's the name of the the thing that people are always saying we need to be reading? Broken Earth. Thank you. We are like one mind, Alex. Uh, okay, what did I miss? The Armored Saint by Mike Cole. Oh, sorry, with a Y. All right, all right. Oh. Martha Wells. All right, you guys are you guys are doing awesome. This is really cool. Uh, all systems red. And uh, murder bot. Okay. Were there? Did I miss? Um, Oh, The Witcher. Yeah, The Witcher. Uh, what's the name of the guy? I can never remember how to spell his name. Andre uh, Sapkowski? Something like that. Oops. Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah. I'm going to have to get a lot better at typing that name if we ever do that one. Uh, okay, Three Parts Dead by Max Gladstone. Oh, the Craft Sequence. Okay, so I'm going to go with the series name. Uh, Craft Sequence. Okay, Broken Empire by Mark Lawrence. Um, what about, uh, has anybody said, oh, who's our, who's our British friend who, uh, Lord Grimdark, come on, somebody help me out, um, oh, okay, Murderbot is the series title, thank you, um, that about, ah, Uh, okay, let's see. Ma Malazan, Steven Erickson. Yep. Uh, Steven Erickson. Malazan. Joe Abercrombie. Thank you, Joe Abercrombie. And what's the name of that series? Um, with all these names floating around. Sorry, it's, uh, it's fleeing my mind. Hello, Seth. Welcome. Um, all right. I'm sorry. I'm just going back a little bit uh, to see if... I missed anything. Uh, let's see. Novik. Okay, Roger. Roger Zelazny? Zelaney? Oops. So are those two different books, Lord of Light, or is this two different series, or is this are these standalone books? Um, uh, okay. First law. Thank you. I couldn't remember it off the top of my head. Two different books. Okay. No. I don't know. 
Alyssa McPhail. Okay, that's good. Is that? No, that's not our first woman on the list, but that's good. All right, uh, Melissa. No. A pattern. Um, shadow. And light. Barely fit. Okay. All right. I think I've caught up. So. There will be more suggestions coming in, I have no doubt, but let's start ranking where we're at with that. Um, two sets of five books. Oy. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, let's. It's okay, uh, Chad, it's okay if it's sci-fi. Sci-fi is good, sci-fi, we like sci-fi. Um, sci-fi is simply a subgenre of fantasy, let's be honest. Uh, okay, so, where are we at with GGK? GGK. Somebody help me out. Um, oh boy. Oh, guy Gabriel. Okay, good heavens. Yeah, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> as though, as though I don't have enough uh, acronyms running through my head. Oh, V.E. Schwab. Oh, gosh, yeah. Okay, Black Company. Yeah, Drew, it's already there. Black Company is up here. Okay, you guys, we need to start uh, ranking stuff. So, um, it's... Uh, oh, goodness. Okay, Raven's Mark. Ed McDonald. Uh, <laughs> Raven's Mark. Uh, what is it? Uh, Ed Donald. Okay. All right, we got to start ranking some of this stuff. Um, I will say that uh, Joe Abercrombie, I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is uh, instead of ranking them in perfect number order, I'm going to assign them a number between, say, one and five. Call it one and five. Uh, one being high priority, five being low priority. This does not, this this is not a judgment by me or anybody on the chat about whether the book is good or bad. Yeah, you know, so a rank five could be an amazing series, but it might be lower on the list. So we've got to start ranking what, uh, you know, rating, I guess, would be a better term for it. Um, we got to start rating what these books are at. Um, so we'll call it one through five. Um, and okay, so I'm gonna go. Oh, Stephen Donaldson. Oh, okay. All right, you guys. I'm gonna come back. <laughs> you guys are killing me. I'm gonna come back and uh, look through a lot of these uh, and add some more. Okay, but what from what we've got here, N.K. Jemison, that's a one. Um, and Joe Abercrombie, I think, is a one. Uh, which Guy Gabriel K should we be doing? Uh, somebody mentioned him, but I'm not sure. Because there are lots of Guy Gabriel K options out there. So which one specifically are you thinking of? Uh, let me know. Um, okay. Now we've got... George Martin, I'd probably put him as a three. You know, I'm gonna put him as a I'm gonna put him as a five, honestly, because he's not showing any signs of continuing with the series, and so it's hard for me to to really want to do it for the show. I I I want to read it for myself, but for the show, that's a lower ranking. Um Naomi Novik. Uh Naomi Novik Tim Rare series. I'm gonna give that a three. James Corey's Expanse. That that would seem like a good fit for the blue team. We'll give that a two, like a really good fit. People have been bugging us about that for a long time. I might even give it a one if you guys try to sway me. Um, let's see. We've got Glenn Cook, Black Company. I want to get down to a few others that we get all the time. V.E. Schwab we get all the time. I'm going to give that a two. Um, let's see. Malazan, oh gosh, I talked about this in our shorter episode last night. Uh, Steven Erickson, it's hard for me to just say, yeah, we're doing, we're doing Malazan. It's, I don't know, it's 
been difficult for me to commit the podcast to this one, even if I am personally very intrigued. And as you may know, Ryan has read the first book now. Uh, but I'm going to put this one at a three. Definitely not any higher than that, but it might get bumped down to a four. Um, let's see. Black Company one, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Drew, make your case for Black Company as one. Otherwise, I'm putting it as a two. Um, Ian Banks. Ian, oh, Ian M. Banks. The M is important. Okay, well, I had an M. Uh, okay, regarding Ian Banks, starting with Look to Windward, is chronologically correct? Best place to start. Okay. Yeah, Cosmere, it's, that, that is something that we have talked about doing in the past. Um, with a series like that, I wonder if with Malazan, it's best really to read it all uh, as closely together as possible because I imagine with how difficult um, uh, an intellectual lift that first one requires, I wonder if you'd start to forget a lot of the names and plot points and stuff from the first book if you didn't immediately reinforce it with the second book. So, um, anyway. Um, Hilarious progenitor of Grip progenitor like literally this is the start of grimdark fantasy it has an important place in fantasy history you know what i the the history argument actually sways me quite a lot um i'm all about understanding where you know the roots of where things came from so that's all you had to say drew best of all of the world many volumes they're all short and fast reads um i don't know why Drew, it made me it made me approve that like um oh probably because it's uh self-promotion drew self-promotion how dare you okay all right so i'm hearing a lot of this i'm sorry i'm gonna add one more because you guys are all talking about garth nix a lot um okay so all right what else have we got uh, the rest of these I haven't really heard of, and so until I get, not the rest, not, not all the rest of them, but uh, uh, Broken Empire I've heard of, Ian Banks, The Culture, uh, you'll need to, hello Ghost World, um, thank you for your recent comments on videos, those are appreciated. I know that uh, Todd and Ken and crew don't, uh, don't wander the YouTube comments like I do, so they may not have seen it, I'll pass them on. Um, yeah, Drew, see you later, I guess. Uh, okay, so make the case for Ian Banks, because it's a name I've heard a lot, but it's not, It uh, nobody's really made the case to make it anything other than a five, uh, or maybe a four, let's make it a four, because the name does come up a lot. Mike Cole, Martha Wells, Andre Sapkowski, I'll put that as a three. Max Gladstone, mm -hmm. Mark Lawrence, Broken Empire, Broken Empire, put that at least as a three, um, oops, Roger, Roger, Z I still, I would like to know how to pronounce this, Zelazny, Zelaney, uh, four, Guy Gabriel K, two, at least, uh, Melissa McPhail, Pattern of Shadow and Light, five, Ed McDonald, Raven's Mark, Five. Garth Nix is a name that it's a name that comes up a lot so at least a four okay so if you want me to adjust any of this you'll need to make your case uh, Tor uh, or is it Tora I don't know how to quite pronounce your name but um, uh, let's see case not made for which one family time here so I should split my case is made <laughs> so I'll go back I'll, I'll reconsider these don't worry uh, but I'm glad that we had you. Let's see, Natural History of Dragons. Okay, different. I'm I'm intrigued, always intrigued by different. Marie Brennan. Oh, what's it called? A Natural, oops, History of Dragons. All right. And I have to, oops, got to spell it right. Okay. Bump Martha Wells up, because the books are really short. Could be filler episodes. Okay, that's a good suggestion. Um, I like hearing that, so maybe we'll make her a three. Um, 
Uh, okay, good fillers. Let's see, that's a great suggestion. I like hearing stuff like that. Uh, intelligent sci-fi. Last one, audible E at the end. So, yeah, audible E at what, at what kind of E though? Uh, it's, uh, that, that's where I'm not sure how to do it, so. Um, expensive the books are considering how short they are. Uh, that's something to consider. Uh, let's see. Um, John, the murder bot. Um, okay. Now I need to I'm sure we can read all this. So. Yeah, let's wrap. Okay. Uh, okay. Why is Kim Stanley Robinson not on the list? Um, that is mine. Okay, Ed McDonald's Black Wing. We've got Ed McDonald's on. Ed McDonald, Raven's Mark, yeah. Uh, okay, so Lasny would be another. If we ever do that one, I'm gonna have to actually figure out how to pronounce that. Would be okay with palate cleanser, uh, filler, whatever. Meaty filler. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> you guys uh did you ever watch the soup uh on the e channel like 10 years ago it's so meaty meaty filler so does that mean it's like it's short it's easy to get through but there's a lot to talk about is that what you mean by that uh oh dragon riders of pern uh and with an e and mccaffrey Caffrey. Okay, you know what? That one would probably be like a like a four. Um, really important historical context, but it's maybe not necessarily like vital that we get to it. Um, thanks for <laughs> moving mine up, Josh. You're welcome. Uh, okay. All right, Drew, that's good to know. You haven't gotten to that one yet. Um, Pern, yeah, Pern, I don't know. Should I give it higher than a four? Um, I think it would be a lot of fun. I'm just not 100% not sold that it should be, like, super high up the list. Okay. Pern is good. That's true. I read the first one, gosh, I must have been... 10 or 11 years old or something when I read the first Pern book. So I don't remember anything about it, but I remember <clears throat> I remember really enjoying it. Okay. War of the Rose. War of the Rose Throne. That is Peter McLean. Okay. See. Ian Banks has a habit of making medium thick books, then packing them full of stuff, not always plot. <laughs> okay. Duly noted. Well, you know what? You could say the same thing about Moby Dick, and that is a wonderful, wonderful book. So. Okay. That. Yeah, Dresden. Yeah, thanks, Chris, for bringing that up. Um, not the baby monitor. Oh, am I? Okay. Uh, where was I, Chris? Yes, Dresden is implicit since we've already started. So that one, uh, yeah, if we've started it, we're going to, well, I don't know about finish, finish. That's a lot of books, but uh, they'll keep going with those. Uh, we got Rook. Josh, Rook is, 
right here, Daniel O'Malley. I, I ranked it low, but you're welcome to make a case for me to bump it up. But if I, okay, so if I'm looking at what we've got here, um, I've got, let's grab our ones. Um, and I'm going to put some ones up here. Uh, get rid of that. Or maybe we just delete that row. I'm sure there's a, a really easy way to do this in, <laughs> uh, in a spreadsheet, but I'm not a spreadsheet wizard, so we're going slow here. Uh, let's say that one, delete, and add. And any other ones? Glenn Cook. Okay, we're making a, a one out of Glenn Cook. That ought to make you guys happy. Oh, oh no. Okay, I think that's all my ones. Grab some twos. Oh, I grabbed a five. Oops. Uh, Guy Gabriel K. Am I just making some uh, some uh, spreadsheet wizard's head explode right now? Be honest. Malazan should be lower. Where did we put Malazan as a three? You know, Chris, I, I kind of agree on the smaller series front. I, I like the idea of filling up our repertoire with as many authors as we reasonably can uh, that we can give. Uh, yeah, sorry, Josh. <laughs> uh, as, many, as many authors as we can give a reasonable amount of attention to. Okay, so putting that as a four. Um, okay, James Corey, The Expanse. Oh, I, I really like this one. I... I think especially for blue team, I might even bump this up to a one. I'm not 100% sure. Um, okay, but maybe, maybe a one for the blue team. Why, why, why is, what, what? Ugh. Uh, Garamond 18. Come on. There we go. Now you can see it a little better. Um, who am I missing on my twos? Any other twos? Okay, threes, fours, and fives. Maybe we can worry about a little bit later. Although Naomi Novik, I wonder if I should bump her up on the list. I'm not 100% sure. But make your case. Crimson Empire Trilogy. Builds off Abercrombie. Trilogies would be knocked out before Malazan, yeah. This actually is an Excel. It's Google Sheets. I'm I'm so pathetic. I, I'm on Google Sheets right now. Uh, <laughs> Josh Hicken has a good hint for you on spreadsheets. I don't know what that means. It's like a filter. Oh, sorry. I missed that somewhere. Uh, I'll learn it later. Right now, <laughs> streaming first, learning later. You're ridiculous. I'm going to learn something while I'm doing this? Awful. Uh, Temporary. Okay, so let's move this down. Um, make it a five. Put it down here at the bottom. Oh, okay. Well, apparently that's how we're doing it. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna worry about three, fours, and fives later. I think, although maybe Martha Wells, I'll bother to uh, bring her up. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, Spook. That's what I um. I always say that about uh. Google Docs. People get really, uh, get really crazy about using Google Docs instead of Microsoft Word. And I'm like, yeah, Microsoft Word has a million functions. When was the last time you used 10% of them? Never. Uh, okay. 
Novik books are fairly short, easy reads, different from a lot of fantasy. Okay, all right, where is that? Let's see. Okay, I like that. Raven's Mark is on there twice, is it really? Oh, did I just not uh, uh, not delete it? Raven's Mark. Oh, whoops. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, this gives me a good list, you guys. Um, I wonder if... Oh, goodness. Alex, I don't care about your scientific... Uh, custom error bars get out of here with your smart stuff Just get out of here uh broken earth is great pretty dense first law is more approachable okay I'm gonna put question marks on these because this is just one person's uh, opinion or note, and so I hope that doesn't offend you. Um, yeah, we'll put some uh, question marks on that, and I, I will do a little bit of research on those. Uh, <laughs> Raven's Mark, go up, not trying, get it at it again, yeah, well, uh, I'll look into that one. I'm going to read back through this chat and uh, see what everybody has said, because I'm sure I've missed a few things. Spans books, really good, quick reads, action heavy. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Uh, the Expanse, blue team favorite, um, action heavy, quick reads. Okay, well, I guess I'll worry about that later. Uh... Jemison does a lot of experimental stuff with POV. Are we talking experimental like, uh, you know, like we're trying to read, um, oh shoot, Cormac McCarthy or or uh, something like that. Um, oh, Rune Lords. Holy crap, Drew. Coming through with an excellent suggestion. Rune Lords, that's got to be at least a three, right? At least a three for Rune Lords. So put that in right here. Um... And that's uh, Farland, Rune Lords. Oh, second person, second person POV. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, sorry if I missed Rune Lords earlier. Okay, if you made the suggestion, then you're awesome too. I just happened to see Drew's. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Discussions, yeah, I would love to have a discussion about whether the second person point of view works oh gosh now i'm oh now i'm intrigued that actually that would actually probably bump it up for me um uh let's see Oops. okay yeah that would that would bump it up for me so sorry about that uh if that disappoints anybody Okay. Last two books, dance books, or running a roller coaster. Stover, I missed a Stover somewhere. Oh, is that the Axe of Cain one? Um, okay, so how are we all feeling? We've got three ones, and they're all, the problem with this is that they are all Probably red team territory. So I'm going to actually bump up the expanse to a one because that would be good for the blue team to think about doing next. Um, and maybe we find one other one. Are there any other, like, you know, blue team can do other than sci fi, but I think sci fi is a good, uh, it, it's, a, it's a good kind of split between red and blue. Blue tends to do sci fi stuff. Um, Post this list for inspiration. Yeah, I, I probably will. You know, maybe throw it on Reddit or something. Um, once I, you know, I'll, I'll make sure that it's all looking decent. Bean for blue team, as in shadow, uh, Ender's shadow. 
that could be interesting because it was me and Ryan and Ken? Ken on that episode? Gosh, now I've got to go remember who saw that episode. You guys, I'm getting old. My memory is uh, is going. Holy sh... Uh, okay, we've got some stats stuff to go over later. Uh, apparently there's something to look at. Something's going on today. I'll need to figure out what that is. Um, let's see when we did Ender's Game. That was yeah, Ken. Ken was on that one. I I couldn't remember who the third person was. Uh, so yeah, Ender's Shadows. I assume that's what you're talking about, and I like that a lot, especially because we that's kind of hot on the heels of Ender's Game. Uh. We don't even have Ender's Game on the shelf yet. Holy smokes. Um, and his name is, uh, what's his name, you guys? Uh, see, my memory is going. Um, the Bean Quartet. Yeah, I don't know about the whole thing. I, I, I'll be honest with you, I've tried to read Ender's, the, the Shadow Quartet, and I've always burned out halfway through book three. Um, thank you, Orson Scott Card. I can't. I don't know why that fled my memory at the moment. Um, but uh, I, I've always burned out, and it's been a, it's been years since I've tried. So I should probably try again, and maybe it would be more interesting. Um, Scott Card, Oregon Scott Card. Nice. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, oh, Powder Mage, Brian McClellan. Holy smokes. Uh, so again, sorry if somebody else mentioned it earlier, but uh, yeah, that one that has to go on the list. Powder Mage, that's a two probably, right? Um, so let's see, two. Uh, Brian, oops, McClellan, uh, Powder Mage. Yeah, great one. Shadow of the Giant is amazing. Yeah, like I said, I've just never been able to force myself to get to it. I. Yes, I just lost interest in the characters. I can't quite remember. Again, it's been years and years. Uh, Ender's Shadow. Oh, okay. Look, Zevaker. Ender's Shadow might be better than Ender's Game. Uh, it might. So, gonna have to disagree there. Better than fine. Powder Mage is two. High on your TBR. Good. Powder Mage. Okay, yeah, a lot of votes for Powder Mage. So, when is The Witcher Show coming out? Um, Witcher TV series is releasing late 2019. This year? Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. That's too bad. That would be great. Um, but it's probably too late. Uh, Max Gladstone would be blue team material. Okay, that's excellent. Um, and should I be bumping him up from a 5? I put him as a 5 because I've haven't heard of it and we haven't had that suggestion a lot uh, but if you want to make a case for it go ahead um, blue team. Uh, so yeah go ahead powder mage should be one or two um is she lou i don't know quite how to pronounce that but three body problem I've, i have heard of that one quite a few times so i like that um I'll put that on the list as well Three body problem. You're not the first to suggest that one. Um, go ahead and make make a case. Uh, give me something to put in the notes category here for why uh, you want it on the list and why I might bump it up past a five. Um, oh, really? First two Witcher books are short story collections. I did not know that. That is new information for me. The Witcher author is not really a cool guy. <laughs> well, we're not uh, we're not having him on the show. Uh, just reading his books, and so I, I'm generally happy to separate art and artist and uh, and just read the book for what it is. You could... It's got lawyers in it. Maybe schedule an author's shelf and just read the first Witcher book for the show. Huh? Got lawyers in it. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's it. Uh, industrial age urban fantasy. 
Um, I don't know who that would go to. That would be interesting. Situation, magic lawyers. You know, as somebody who uh, was this close to going into law, that actually intrigues me a little bit. So that's good to know. Uh, do we have good reads we can follow you on? No. I, I think I talked about this in a, a recent uh, or in a semi-recent uh, cast that I did. But it's... Um, Oh yeah, Landover. We talk about it all the time. Sorry, I'm going to answer this other question. Uh, we don't have Goodreads simply because it's one more thing for me to maintain and it's difficult for me to want to do so. Uh, we have so many, uh, you know, so many platforms that I'm managing and so it's hard for me to, to say, yeah, sure, Goodreads, that's great. Um, anyway, so yeah, probably won't, I don't know. Should I join Goodreads? I think we actually have one, but I don't maintain it. Uh, Landover has to go on there. Landover, um, that would be a good filler. That would probably be like a three. Uh, although, you know, we also ought to... Um, we also add, ought to add the second series in the Shannara sequence, um, the four book Shannara series. Uh, that one is probably his best Shannara work. Drew, get out of here. You're done. That's, you're off. You're off the, you're off the show. Uh, let's see. <laughs> if I had a clone, uh, I would never leave the house. We would just never stop talking to each other. We, uh, uh, can you imagine the arguments I would get in with myself? Heritage, Heritage of Shinar, that's what it's called. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually add that one here. Uh, if, if For some reason, I've never figured out why I don't hear more people talking about the Shinara series. I wonder if it's because with the later books in the series, I the quality admittedly started to drop off but they're still good they're still really good fantasy books they just don't have the same impact as those early ones but i've never figured out why people don't talk about terry brooks at all you never hear people talk about the sort of shannara series you never hear them talk about uh the heritage you never hear them talk about landover and i've never figured out why um yeah only 31 shannara books to read don't worry we're not reading 31 shannara books um, Book of the New Sun is the absolute peak of literary science fiction and fantasy. Okay. First of all, Drew, I got a bone to pick with that qualifier of literary. Drives me crazy. Uh, I, I've, for years, I've uh, hated the idea that there's a, a genre called literary fiction. And the whole idea behind it is this is what smart people read. And the rest of you read genre fiction. I've always just kind of thought, if it's if it's good, it's good. And if it's not, it's not. Like, literary doesn't mean, oh, it's sophisticated. Ah, ridiculous. Uh, so, yeah, it, as far as that sort of thing, like, either good or it's not. But if it's, uh, so I assume what you mean by that is that it's more complex. It's more... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. You you make your case. Um, language, symbolism, narrative. Okay. Oh, Codex Alera would probably be a good one on the list. Jim. So I'm going to add a few of these. Codex Alera. Um, what what was the who wrote Book of the New Sun? Um, Uh, Codex is a two. <laughs> so, is it? W would you guys prefer it if Blue Team picked up Codex Alera and set aside the uh, whatever the other ones are called for a while? Um, what is that guy's name? Dresden. Um, or would you prefer that they do a lot more Dresden first and then go over to Codex Alera? Let me know what you think. Uh, oh, Gene Wolf. Oh yeah, gosh. Yeah, of course it's Gene Wolf. Um, Gene Wolfe 
been years and years and years since I've even attempted to read anything by Gene Wolfe, so it's probably time to pick that back up. I'm going to give that one a two, actually. Gene Wolfe would be a really, really good idea. So Gene Wolfe is going up here. Okay. We've got one, two, three, four, five ones, and several, let's see, four twos. And the rest are threes, fours, and fives. Okay, I am happy with this. Well, you guys want Jim Butcher up there. Okay, fine, I'll make it an even five for each, for ones and twos. Okay. Put this up here so that I can sort it with blue team. Uh, delete. What am I doing? Okay, sorry. My brain got distracted. Make him a two. <sighs> Whatever. Um, there we go. This list is making me frustrated not to have a time turner. Yeah, 100%. Um, oh, uh, Epidemiologic. I am actually currently reading Annihilation. It is on my nightstand. It's my... Um, it's my... Kind of, I need a break from absolutely everything, and so I read something that's kind of a little bit off my normal beaten path. And right now, that is Annihilation. So, um, hey, see you, Drew. Good to have you. Um, anyway, but that's uh, that is one that I think we should talk about. It might. I wonder if I would just do a little segment in that on our uh, on our new midweek or whatever weekend episodes. Uh, which we should probably talk about now. So um, I'm going to come back to our lists. Uh, oh my gosh, this got huge. This is quite a list. Thank you guys for helping me compile this. This is amazing. Um, I make your uh, make your suggestions for which guy gave your okay you would like us to read. There's a lot of options out there, um, and. So I'll go back and look if you've already said it. I'll go back and look in the earlier chat a little bit later. Um, but as far as Guy Gabriel K, I'm curious about which one. Oh, yeah, Tigana. Okay. And if there are any others, let me know. Anyway, I think we will leave that list there for a little while. Uh, we can come back and look at it again in a bit. But I do want to talk about... Um, I'm going to lounge, okay? Is that cool? Can we lounge for a minute? Um, let's see. Dresden and Alara. Yeah, that might be fun. Um, I want to talk about the end of the week episode that we did this week. It was a little experimental thing. I'm curious, have any of you had a chance to listen to it yet? I mean, I, I just published it, what was that, 11 hours ago, so I'm not expecting most people to have listened to it at this point. Yeah, Chad, dollar per vote again. I think you're probably right. Um, anyway, excuse me, uh, Kyle and I last night, so we we're, were sitting at work, we we're talking during lunch about uh, all the stuff that we want to talk about on the podcast and that we just don't have time for. And so we brought up uh, the Discord server has a lot of suggestions that come in. Um, and uh, you know, get suggestions on Reddit, and, we, and and not suggestions for books per se, but people saying, "Hey, would you talk about this issue, um, or this question, or this news event, or whatever within the fantasy fan community?" And we just don't have room for that on the regular, the regularly scheduled programming on uh, the weekly show because that has become very much uh, read a book, discuss it watch a movie, discuss it. That's what we do on the regular episodes. And I think we've carved out a really good niche for ourselves doing that. Um, there are, since we've started the podcast, you know, gosh, almost six years ago, uh, this genre of kind of like fantasy book club podcasts has exploded. Um, there weren't that many when we started, but it's great. There's a ton now. Uh, but I, I like having that and that that niche that we've kind of carved out for ourselves um, as the podcast that's willing to go out and read it all um, and not being devoted to a, a certain series or author. Um, and so I, we were talking about that and neither of us wanted to stop doing that. Um, 
And so it's like if we, we had these questions that we wanted to address, we were talking last night about burnout and we were talking about suggesting fantasy authors, but it's like, well, we don't, if, if we devote an episode to that, then it just bumps the, the TBR pile even further back. You know, we have to wait another week to discuss this or that book or, or movie or whatever. Um, and so we, uh, so we just decided, hey, we, these may not require quite as much of a lift as far as, you know, research and reading and, and notes preparing and all that stuff. It's a lot of opinion-based stuff. And so we are going to try this a little for a little while. Um, we just decided, you know, I, I said, what are you doing tonight? Let's record something. So last night we recorded that and released it all within like an hour. And so hopefully you guys enjoy that episode if you haven't listened to it yet go ahead and give it a listen and then pop into reddit or discord or wherever and let me know what you think of it um hang on pop culture episodes yeah and so this would be a great place for that if it's you know we debated talking about the uh um the casting the two rivers casting which i've already talked about on a, a previous um live stream but there's been a lot of like shenanigans going on since the since the casting announcement came out so we were thinking about talking about that but we decided not to wander into that minefield um <laughs> anger about george martin uh if I go full rant mode, um, I don't think we'll be able to publish the episode. So I, I only ever go like fifty percent rant mode. Uh, <laughs> but, but your point is well taken, um, Chad. Oh, you're you're trying to suck me into the the thing. Let's just say that there were some unfollows from the Legendarium account on Twitter over that. Uh, that I, I unfollowed people that we were pre previously following because of it just it's all so annoying and it's so predictable and it's like I don't have the energy to worry about that stuff uh, Diego <laughs> it's not going to happen not going to happen it is pretty rare honestly um, I I Believe it or not, my opinions and my um, passion is somewhat, it, it's very toned down for the show. Uh, I, I can get, I can get pretty, uh, I can get pretty into it. So let's see. A couple suggestions in the Discord that are similar in, uh, in a similar vein to last night's episode. Perfect. I'm going to ask for a lot more of that. Uh, so thanks for doing that, Chris. I'll go check that out uh, in a little while. Rant with style. Uh, yeah, that's that's why podcasting is so great because yeah, you know, 20 years ago, my dream was to be in radio, um, and radio would not allow for full rant mode. Well, I guess it, they they do. They've got some ranters on there, but uh, not my full rant mode. So yeah, I, I have to learn how to rant with style. Still haven't figured that out, but we're working on it. Um, okay. So oh, the bookshelf set up in the background. Josh, I I can't remember. I put this on Discord, but I just counted, and in the whole studio, this isn't counting the stuff that I have in the house, uh, but the studio has 404 books in it right now, and with all these suggestions that you guys have put down, uh, it's about to grow. I, I'd say by the end of the year, it's going to be at least 450, uh, maybe more by the time I buy all of these books to put on our TBR shelves. I'll probably have to do, so right now there's, um, here, maybe it would be better if I show it this way. So we've got uh, the tall bookshelf, the short one, um, a very short one, which I would have to go over and show you. And then, oh, sorry, this is terrible. And then two shelves right there full of books. That's our TBR shelf on that wall over there. And that's about to grow significantly. So, uh not to mention all the little, uh, there they are, the little shelves, the kind of floating shelves above that small bookshelf. Those are often full of books. Uh, let's see. 60 FPS cam, is that what this one is? I don't think so. Um, 
So, yeah, this one does seem really jittery, doesn't it? This isn't, isn't the, I, I like the light on this one better, but um, this one feels a little bit smoother. Uh, yeah, I wonder why that is. I, there, there might be a setting. I'm going to go actually, oh, well, no, I'm not going to look right now. Uh, but there might be a setting that I can change for a future uh, episode. Certain famous podcast with a rant wheel as its ending bit. Haven't heard of that. Uh, but I would like to. So tell me more about it. <laughs> you know, so Josh, uh, speaking of people on radio who are full ranters, getting the crazies, um, this is something I've been thinking about recently, and this is going to sound very much like I'm blowing smoke up of uh, up your collective ass, uh, and that's not. Um, yes, Red Letter Media, ranting with chill charisma. They like that is what I aspire to. They are they are my gods. Um, anyway, what I was gonna say is, um, yeah, this is gonna sound like I'm blowing smoke, but when it comes to our listeners, I cannot, I can't express enough or often enough how much I love our audience, um, and I think there are reasons why. Um, our audience is slightly different than some others, but as I go read through comment sections or uh, you know Discord servers for other podcasts, uh, and I see what they deal with um, from a lot of their listeners, I'm just shocked at at what comes through and what we don't see. And I, I, so I think there are a lot of reasons for it, uh, but ultimately, kind of what it comes down to is the style of show that we produce versus the style that some other people produce, um, bringing in other, you know, certain types of personalities. So, you know, there's a uh, give and take and it, it might, uh, it might be good for our ratings, you know, for our downloads. If I went completely insane, if I went batshit on some episode and, uh, and started ranting like crazy, um, it, you know, it might, it might, get people more excited, but I'm not sure I want them more excited in that way, right? So, anyway. Uh, let's see. We did Edge Dancer and Secret History. Those are more in the context of their series. That's true. Um, ha ha ha. Loving smoke. So, yeah, I, I friggin' love you guys. You're awesome and amazing and all of that. By the way, I do want to point out um, our... If you, if you like what we do, you know, I talk about um, what you guys can do to help support us. Uh, if you're on Twitter, um, get active on Twitter and, and start sharing our stuff out. We're getting tantalizingly close to the uh, 1,000 follower mark on Twitter. I'd love to get there because fake internet points are great. Um, and uh, <laughs> Christian, I, well, there's a, let's say I have a healthy dose of both sides-ism you know, it, it, within me. So, uh, yeah, but I, I agree with you. We do try not to be trolls or neckbeards. I don't even know what a neckbeard is for sure, uh, but I think I get the idea of it as an insult. Um, Alex, we have women, which is a shockingly high bar. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I can't tell you how pleased I am. And I also can't tell you in defense of other podcasts, I don't know which other podcasts you might be referring to or, um, you know, anything like that. And so this isn't a judgment call on any specific one. I don't know what their motivations would be. But I cannot tell you how difficult it is to find anybody who uh, loves fantasy the way that we all do, has strong opinions, is willing to go on a show, can do it on a weekly basis or, you know, a, a bi-weekly basis who can appear regularly on a show, um, who lives locally, and then you add is a woman on top of that, and it it is, I I am shocked and amazed that we have, um, you know Stephanie and Megan and others who appear. So yeah, it is great that we have those. I will say this: um, if you didn't know, I, I can't remember if I've announced it. I hope you guys are getting excited because, or at least you will now. On the 31st, so one week from today, there is a special episode being recorded, and it will be an all-female cast, Megan, Stephanie, and a newcomer who you have not yet met, and they're going to be reading Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. 
which I'm absolutely stoked for. And so if you uh, if you if you've ever read that or if you've ever been thinking about if you've ever thought about read reading that, uh, then give it a shot uh, because I think that's going to be a really good episode. I can't remember. I know Stephanie is the one who kind of has initiated this. She put the whole thing together. I don't know if she's going to be hosting, if she'll be in my chair, or if it will be someone else. Um, let's see. Um, we, we didn't notice, but our brains did. Well, thanks, Christian. That's nice of you to say. Um, we didn't notice it, but our brains did. That's a line from the... Uh, uh, from the Mr. Plinkett reviews, right? If, oh, you know, it could be from something else, but that's where I know it from is the Plinkett reviews. And that's a, yeah, that's a big thing. We're not, probably not sophisticated enough to uh, dig in the way that, that Red Letter Media did with the Plinkett reviews with all these books, but um, I do like that idea of digging out those things. Um, Never read the original. Yeah, go read the original, Diego. I kind of talked about this on the episode that we published last night, um, where I, I'm a big, big fan. I'm a big believer of reading outside of a single genre. Um, and so we, you know, we have to do this in school if you're studying or something. But uh, I think we kind of get away from it. We, we find our, our niche and then we kind of stay in there. Um, and so I think it's a really good idea to read outside of your preferred categories. Um, and so if you're a massive fan of uh, fantasy and science fiction, I think that's awesome. And if that's most of what you read, that's totally good. Um, but uh, yeah, go read Pride and Prejudice. It's pretty darn good. There's a reason it's a classic. Uh, and then aside from that, I, I kind of talked on the episode last night about how reading stuff with a historical context or to give you historical context can actually help you enjoy your fantasy and science fiction even more um and so if you want to you know if you want to get an idea of what uh is it jack campbell um was talking about in the lost fleet uh you know read up on some physics stuff some astrophysics and that'll give you a better understanding of what he's talking about with space battles and stuff so yeah, I'm a big fan of reading outside of what we always um alternative contextual reading suggestions. Yeah, I think that that would be pretty good. Um okay. So what I want from you guys in whether it's in this chat, that's fine, um or in a more place that I can come back to more easily, I'll put a Reddit thread up a l little bit later today uh asking for those topic suggestions questions you'd want us to address um the subjects you'd want us to address in those weekend episodes and we will look into that um anyway so for this one craft and burner sorry for this one I, i'm just trying to constantly keep track of what uh what's going on in the chat alexander hamilton oh yeah ron Chernow's biography is awesome i have not read the disney um biography so that should be that's you know they, they they say great men are rarely good men um i don't know how true that is but uh, with walt disney it's like he, he that was a great man i wonder how you know how good he was or I'm, I'm sure anyway point being i'm sure his biography would be wildly interesting so let me know how that goes uh oh yeah seth downloads records I, I i stupidly was like what happened yesterday well we published another episode that's what happened um so let me pull this over and if you guys want to see what's going on i will show you what time is it uh epidemiologic it is nearly 11 o'clock here so um it is yeah it's 11 o'clock here mountain time we broadcast out of salt lake city or near salt lake city i'm about 30 miles north um, 20 miles north. So 11 o'clock. Where are you at? I'm curious. Let me know. Um, okay, so I, as you know, I've been trying to peel back the curtains a little bit on our statistics lately. I've been pretty tight-lipped about it over the years, um, but it, uh, but it has recently been suggested that I be a little more open about that, and I think it's a good idea. So uh, let me pull that up here. 
So what we've got right here is our, this is the last 30 days of downloads. And uh, yeah, we just got a big bump. Usually Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are pretty rough. Um, you can see Saturday and Sunday drop down pretty pretty hard. There's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, so those are when the fewest people live. Oh, you're in Kearns today, Josh. Really? That's where Ryan and Stephanie just moved from, actually. They used to live in Kearns uh, just a few months ago. Um, and uh, come up for a visit or something. Um, oh, from Cologne. Yeah, that's great. Uh, awesome. Diego, I'm glad you were here. And uh, the archive stream, I'm sure, will be a little more boring after this. We'll go over some stats stuff just for fun. Uh, and then maybe I'll fire up some StarCraft if anybody wants to stick around for that. I'm on a quest for Diamond League, so it could be fun. Um, oh, you work at the Olympic Oval. Oh, that's awesome. Um, dude, why, we need to have you up for a visit or something. Uh, okay, so what was I just talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, the last 30 days, you can see Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are usually low. Um, uh, but this week... I did a big push on social media on Thursday to uh, push the episode that we had just published. And so I think that helped with our Friday number staying a little bit further up than we published last night. So 1,600 downloads today, which is awesome for a Saturday especially. Um, Josh, email me. 100% email me and uh, we'll we'll get something going. Um, maybe we'll do like a, I'm always looking for like team activities where I can take the Legendarium crew out to do something fun. Uh, so it's not just, you know, so that we're friends and not just a, a bunch of people podcasting constantly. Um, anyway, so uh, email me craig at the legendarium podcast.com. Uh, you can also get the legendarium podcast at gmail.com. Either one is fine. Or DM, DM me on Twitter or something. It doesn't matter. Either way. Um, okay. So, Ghost World, that is a great question. Uh, we can look at that as well. Um, right now, this is where we're just, just looking at our podcast downloads. So, we don't add the, the other platform. I think YouTube is the only other big platform that we would need to track. Uh, partly just because I don't do a ton on YouTube yet. Obviously, I've done a few live streams up to now, but if I were really serious about YouTube, I'd be putting out a, a good video like every week at least. Um, Daniel Green puts out videos every single day, which is amazing, and I cannot believe uh, the sort of output that he's capable of. Um, anyway, so maybe we'll talk about YouTube in just a minute, but right now, episode downloads. So all time, uh, this is our all time, and I was I thought last month that we were going to be a little short that we would actually miss our June number. So June, we had 20, 29,000 downloads. Um, and I thought we'd be sitting at like 27, 28. And then there was this crazy late month surge. Um, and we beat that record. And I thought, well, that's great, but it'll be kind of an anomaly. And this month, we are scheduled to, uh, even without yesterday's episode, we were, uh, we were probably going to hit about 33 to 35, which is amazing the amount of downloads that uh that we're getting right now i never would have thought in a thousand years uh when we started the podcast that we would ever have numbers like this um but if we do more episodes the thing about it is more episodes means more downloads and so our monthly numbers probably don't mean as much as the per episode numbers and so if we look, you know, just in the last 30 days, like per episode, the Ender's Game uh, episode is doing great with 3,000. Um, and we usually see that, you know, between 2,700 and 35, maybe for a really, really popular episode. Um, but, uh, you know, call it an average of 27 to 2,900 downloads per episode. So that gives you an idea of, um, of how many people are consistently listening to every episode and that's a number that i would like to get up higher um and so if we uh let's see awesome you joined a week ago hey from spain that's great i love hearing from uh, people from faraway places as well as people from kerns just down the road um 
full time job. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, it is a lot of work, but it's fun. I like it. Um, anyway, so on that note, um, Christian, uh, sorry, I'll come back to that. Christian, um, it does show when you stream it. So if we look at an overview here, um, I can see, I can't see like super granular data. I don't know when you download the episode, but I can see kind of our, um, our most popular places. Um, hello, Germany, once again. And uh, I'm trying to remember who it was, Epidemiologic from Cologne, that's great. Um, so Germany, UK, Australia, I can see kind of which countries most of our downloads are coming from. And then on a few of those, I can dig into where you know what state or what uh, province most of those downloads are coming from so that's a lot of fun to be able to see i wish i could get this view for uh great britain but can't uh sorry uk i'm an american what can i say um and uh anyway so i can see that i can also see which services you guys are using to download the episodes so this is probably going to be unknown others yeah uh, so sometimes it just doesn't track, but on the ones where it does track, obviously Apple Podcasts is the big one with all the iPhones out there, um, and then Spotify. So Spotify, generally those are going to be streams, right? You're not, I mean, I think you can, but you're not necessarily downloading those episodes, um, and a lot of podcatchers allow you to stream them instead of downloading them as well, but it does count those. Um, it will count a stream as a download. So I do get to see those. Uh, let's see. This is, I don't know, Chrome. Does that mean people are going straight to our website and listening? I'm not sure exactly. John from Northern Ireland. Awesome. Um, you know, I actually have a, a vague plan in mind for 2020. If, depending on how Patreon goes, if we can up our patron, our patron count, I have an idea that... Um, in the spring of 2020, we'll do Jordan Con in Atlanta. That'll be fun. But then later on in the year, I'm thinking, you know, about this time next year, August, September, something like that. Uh, I would like to take the team on a trip to, you know, not the whole team, maybe four of us at max, three or four of us on a trip to uh, the UK and Ireland and do kind of a road trip where we hit a few places um, and I want to do bookstores, libraries, places where we can uh, set up and do live shows. Uh, I think that would be a ton of fun. It let us go, you know, see the countryside, drive through and uh, see a few different places. Obviously we'd go, you know, we'd hit London and Oxford and all those places, but I want to go over into Ireland and who knows, maybe up to Scotland as well. Um, so Let's see, I want to go, let's see, go back to the chat. Uh, so we talked about streams versus downloads. Um, does dislikes actually negatively affect the channel? So uh, for YouTube, I assume both likes and dislikes help you out, which is better for the li channel, likes or comments. Um, they all count as uh, engagement. And so they're both valuable. I, I, I think comments are more valuable to us because I want to hear what you guys have to say as long as you know as long as it's not uh, you know the the uh, stereotypical YouTube comment I love comments on any platform and so they're more valuable to us um, but dislikes yeah I don't I don't care about dislikes honestly it's engagement somebody cared enough to dislike <laughs> and so I think YouTube I don't know if they count them the same but I know that dislikes don't necessarily uh, they don't necessarily signal that they're not going to suggest the video. So for instance, if I put out a video that pissed everybody off so much that I got ratioed on YouTube, if that's a thing, a YouTube ratio, where you know I had 10 likes and 15,000 dislikes, that would signal to YouTube that this is something that uh, that people are passionate about, right? And so they would take that into consideration in their algorithm. So I'm not, I'm not worried about downvotes. Uh, let's see, ton of whiskey. Well, <laughs> maybe not for every member of the panel. Um, countrywide tour of the best independent bookstores. Oh man, I, I wanna go down to, I think it's called Hey On We. In, uh, it's on the border of uh, Wales. There's a whole town, the entire town is a used bookstore. 
Uh, and I'm sure it's mostly gimmicky, but uh, that still sounds amazing, and I would love to go see it. Um, <laughs> they're in book again. Yes, Tora, that's fantastic. They're in book again. Um, uh, they're in book again. The legendary tour of the UK. 100% doing that. That is a thing now. Um, and, uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to go other places as well, but... Uh, we have to consider where our audience is. And right now, you know, the UK even beats Canada as far as the number of downloads. Um, and so it would make sense for us to, uh, you know, if we did an international trip, it would make sense for us to hit the UK first. Um, and then, you know, maybe someday we'd uh, head down to Australia, New Zealand, do something down there. I don't know. That sounds like a lot uh, and a lot of money, frankly. Frankly. So we may not ever get to do that, but I sure think it would be awesome. Um, okay, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else in the uh, downloads that I might want to show you guys. Um, oh, gosh, I was just going to tell you. Holy smokes. Uh, and then I got distracted. So this is... Uh, oh, let's go over to this one. Uh, this is a big effing deal. I think I've mentioned this as a possibility before. Uh, but it is now official. <laughs> Chad, start with Boise. That that would be an easy place to go. Um, it is official. The Legendarium has found a podcast network. Doesn't matter the the network because we're not like it, we don't have to change anything about what we do. We don't have to change our branding or anything. But we found a network who's going to help us out with advertisers. Uh, so they're going to be going out finding advertisers for us. Um, which is going to be fantastic. So ads are coming. Um, it is going to be a thing. There is, we do have a, an ad read coming up in our episode later today that the blue team is recording. Um, and this, that one is actually Ken found uh, a sponsor for the show at a, a convention he went to. And uh, anyway, so that one's kind of an independent thing, but ads are coming. Um, uh, Josh, you can DM me if you want to know which network. Um, it's yeah, does doesn't matter. The problem is that it's it's way outside of our uh, our vertical. We would say if this were marketing, you know, like we talk about fantasy and science fiction. This is not anywhere near that. Uh, but they wanted to pull us into their network because they thought that we would have like a general interest topic um, for their. Uh, for their regular listeners to listen to. Um, and, uh, and so I thought, you know, hey, as long as we don't have to change anything about what we're doing, as long as all the, the relationship is just about the ads and, you know, they get to keep part of the profit from the ads and we get to keep part of that um, and we get access to a new um, a bunch of listeners, then I think that's great. So that's what we're going with. Um, Patreon ad free. That's not a bad idea. I don't know exactly how we would do that i i don't know if we could because these aren't going to be um these aren't going to be ads that we insert they're going to be host read ads and so it's going to be in the middle of the show um but uh yeah so i i don't know but maybe maybe that would be something we could figure out uh, Ghost World, Audible may be seriously something seriously worth checking out as a sponsor. Um, I don't know if Audible sponsors, directly sponsors any shows. We actually had Audible for a while, um, but what they do is something called affiliate marketing. And so these shows will set up links on in their show notes or on their websites or whatever um, and tell you to go check them out use the you know go to audible.com slash whatever and you can set that up yourself and uh, and then you get a cut of you know whoever signs up um and so we used to do that and um didn't see any traction from it probably because everybody who has audible is gonna have audible so we don't uh, we didn't find a lot of success so with affiliate marketing if it were something besides amazon something that weren't as ubiquitous as amazon um, then it would probably make more sense for us to do that. Uh, but on that note, I will say when we do launch ads, uh, it's going to be stuff, I assume it'll be a lot of stuff that you would hear about on other podcasts. 
things like uh, you know DoorDash and uh, Casper mattresses and and that sort of thing. Um, you know, we do get discretion on what we advertise for, so we'll never put anything on the show, advertise anything on the show that we feel uncomfortable advertising. Um, but when we do those, yeah, me undies. Okay, that's fine. I, I would do me undies. <laughs> so, um, when we do get an advertiser, especially in the early going, if it's something that you've thought about, uh, that you've considered, then it'll be really important if you want to support the show to go, you know, at least go to the URL and check it out. And then if, if you've thought about pulling the trigger before, you know, on a Casper mattress or something like that, uh, or, you know, buy a pair of underwear, that's fine. Um, then, then doing that using our promo code, it signals to our podcast network, it signals to the, um, uh, to the advertisers that we have an engaged audience and all that, even just going to those URLs signals that sort of thing. And so that is a way that you guys are going to be able to support us, um, you know, whether financially or not, uh, you can. <laughs> Warcraft Classic comes out in three days. <laughs> um, anyway, so if that makes sense, even if you can't buy something, just go there, use our, our uh, URLs or promo codes or whatever. Um, and uh, that'll that'll help a lot with that. So let's see. I think speaking of video games, maybe we should Starcraft it up, you guys. Um, we've been going now for <laughs> almost an hour and a half, and I've got a little while before Blue Team comes over and uh, starts recording. I don't think that I'll be able to go on this stream until Blue Team gets here. They're scheduled to arrive at twelve thirty. And that's when my wife wants to leave um, and she's got some stuff to do today. So I'm going to be hanging with the kids. Um, so I'll probably have to leave before that. Excuse me. But uh, Blue Team is going to come over, record. I think it's a Dresden episode. Um, uh, is that right? Is it a Dresden? I think it's a Dresden episode. Um, so Chad, see you later. Uh, you still want to add a thousand more books. Well, Alex, the chat is there for you. And so is the comment section after we're done with the stream. So, um, yeah, I assume once I start up StarCraft, uh, we'll lose a few of you. And that's fine. Yeah, look, you don't have to stick around for that. I'm just, uh, it's, a, it's a good way for me to force myself to, uh, to uh, get on the ladder. Because I only do the ladder when you guys are watching. And I believe it's a new season. And so I need to... Uh, I need to give this a try. I need, I, I'm on a quest. Oh, whoops. There we go. I'm on a quest for Diamond League. And uh, we'll see if I can get there. Um, yes, Seth and Alex, the list will be put up on Reddit. I will figure that out as we go. Um, now I need... Headphones. Okay. Um, so with StarCraft, when I fire, fire up StarCraft, this is an opportunity for you guys to continue chatting about what we have just chatted about. If you want to, yeah, if you want to fill out that list with a bunch more stuff, this is your chance to do so, and I hope you do. Um, and I'll get to kind of just, uh, hey, thanks, Christian. I'll see you later. Um, and now all the people who, uh, all the people who come in late to the stream are going to be thinking like why are we doing starcraft well okay i need to complete a series of ranked matches to determine my initial league placement i was really close i was this close to diamond league at the end of last season uh but didn't quite make it in you guys hang on just a sec uh we've got i need to shut down my um i've got an open window for there it is for Discord, and there's a lot of you're gonna get a lot of like notifications and whatnot, and that's gonna be noisy. So shut that down. There we go. Okay. Um. So yeah, if you guys have, you can treat this as kind of an AMA. So if you have anything else that you want to talk about, any questions about the podcast or about the books that we've read, anything at all, uh, mark your spoilers and try to avoid them if possible, but mark your spoilers, uh, hit them and put them in the comments. And then once I'm done with a match, I will uh, take a look at those and we can chat about those as well. 
Um, so let's give this a try. We'll see how I do on a StarCraft ladder match. But again, um, you know, just in case anybody's, uh, I, I can see people are bouncing in and out. Um, we're losing a few and that's fine. Um, but yeah, treat this as an AMA um, while I'm waiting for that to come up. Uh, Josh, how excited am I for Lightbringer 2? Excited enough that I've already started. Uh, I am about 20 chapters in, so I think, I think I'm like 25%. No, not, not that far. I don't know. Whatever. I'm a good way into the book, um, and, uh, and enjoying it so far. I, I knew that, oh geez, here we go. I knew that, um, I was going to need to start it kind of as soon as I finished book one. I really, really liked book one. So if that wasn't clear. Okay. Favorite nonfiction. Oh boy, now we're getting into it. Um, what kind of nonfiction are you thinking? Are you thinking biographies? Are you thinking political stuff? Science stuff? Um, Not enough be, yeah, be more specific that, with that one because I could maybe make a few different suggestions. But at a certain point here, once the game really starts going, I'm going to probably end up uh, not talking as much. Additional supply depots required. Okay. SCV ready. What's going on? Big job, huh? SCV ready. Go ahead. History, political ish stuff. Okay. That's SCV good to know. ready. SCV ready. Command center upgrade complete. Go, go, go! Insufficient Vespine gas. Woohoo! Overtime! Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of what I might recommend for you, Sharing. Um, if you have anything more specific to point me toward, do you, you know, do you have certain Best type of. Ready. All it takes is a political history that you like, political Research theory, complete. Um, modern stuff. Uh, yeah, let me know what your Add what on. you are specifically complete. thinking of, and I can Add on. maybe think complete. about that. SCV ready. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna guess off. that StarCraft is probably better suited to <laughs> to our Twitch stream. I'll keep that in mind next time, but I'm, I'm glad to have the opportunity to hang out with you guys anyway. So. Um, Ready right. to raise some hell. This better be good. SCB ready. Ready to roll out. I can't build here. Okay. So if uh, anybody is kind of joining in and wondering what the heck is going on right now, why am I playing StarCraft? Um, I've done it in the past, and it's been alright, and I just wanted to give people an opportunity to uh, 
ask any questions before I end the stream. Um, so any questions you might have, let me know now. And uh, and we can do like a little AMA thing once I'm done. Okay. By the numbers, boys. We'll do. And we need... What's going on? I know what they're doing. All right. Ready for the drop. Who wants some? Light it up. Smoke it. Armed in. Where's the hot action? Yes. This better be good. Talk to me, boss. Go on. Are you ready for this? Wait, none. Big one. There we go. By the number. Not enough energy. What's this? Got no patience for sitting around. Been waiting on you. Can't wait. now. Here we go. Speak up. This better be good. Shoot. I have not been maintaining my uh, production back home. What's going on? Huh? This is my problem with StarCraft. I can't maintain two, two thoughts in my head at once. It's annoying. Okay, Command so there goes upgrade. that. Complete. Oh, what was that? Ready to go. Add on. It's go time. SCV ready. I'm waiting on you. Okay. Lay it on me. SCV ready. Huh? What's going ready on? Ready to raise some head. Kaboom, baby. Not enough minerals. SCV ready. Ready to roll out. Ready for dust off. SCV ready. Go ahead. SCV ready. SCV ready. Mineral field. Ready to raise some hell. Okay. SCV ready. SCV ready. Ready for dust off. Kaboom! Ready for dust off. SCV ready. SCV ready. Need something. Research complete. Mineral field depleted. Not enough minerals. Ready to raise some hell. Not enough minerals. SCV ready. On my way. SCV ready. Waiting on you. Who wants some? Ready to blunder. Ready Let's to have a Insufficient Vespine gas. Okay. Ready to raise some hell. Well. Add on complete. Mineral field. This better be good. Picking up or dropping off. SCV ready. SCV ready. In the pipe, five by five. Okay. Confirmed. We can do any damage over here. SCV ready. SCV ready. Mineral field depleted. All found that. Life flights here. SCV ready. 
Research. SCV ready. By the numbers, boys. This better be good. Mm. Who wants some? Kaboom, baby! Mm. Big job, huh? Uh, I'm in a heap of trouble. Who wants some? You gonna give me orders? Ready to raise some hell. Oh, it's on. On my way. Go ahead. Waiting on you. Who wants some? Boy, mm. is you ready to raise some hell? Additional supply depots. SCV ready. Additional supply depots required. SCV ready. SCV ready. Who wants some? Four is here. You gonna give me your SCV? Not enough. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, I'm supply blocked on it. I can't build here. Okay. I'm honestly a little bit shocked that so many of you have stuck around for this. You gonna give me orders? Sure thing. Additional supply depots required. Can't wait. Huh? This better be good. Yeah. Kaboom, baby! I'm on it. Upgrade complete. SCV ready. Who wants some? Boom, baby! Stop get heavy! Why not? Go, go, go! Enough minerals. Let's have a blast. Four is Mineral here. field depleted. Go, go, go! Let's go. Ready, Ready to plunder. Gangway. Better be good. 
Mineral field depleted. Go, go, go! Oh, I'll keep them off my back for just a sec. Field depleted. Not enough minerals. By the number. Not enough minerals. Let's have a black SCV ready. I wish I could get rid of these towers. I wish there was a way to kill those things because they are annoying. SCV ready. You gonna give me orders? Ready for dust. Can't hold them alone. Vespine Geyser exhausted. Alex. Thor is here. SCV ready. This better be good. Let's What's have that? a blast. Best being okay, well, I'm glad you think it's fun to watch because I am not going to last much longer. <laughs> this is about to end well, in a very ugly way. Game. Okay. Go ahead. You want a piece of me, boy? Let's have a blast. This better be good. Mineral field depleted. Oh yeah, that's that's it, folks. Oops. Base is under. Okay. Well. Um. Oh man, that's tense. Oh well. So still platinum tier one. That's fine. I can work with that. <clears throat> um, but there will be a quest. A quest for Diamond League, and we can worry about that later. Okay, so... Um, Alright, well, I, was, I thought maybe there would be more questions, but yeah, as far as what's on here now, uh, Lightbringer 2, yeah, I kind of talked about that a little bit. I'm already on it. I've... That is the hardest, the, the most difficult hardcover uh, Lightbringer to find. Well, sort of. Uh, but I just ordered it off eBay, so it should be here soon. Um, I am a hardcover guy. I don't know about you guys. Um, and so I'm looking forward to that. But I've already started it on Kindle. And I've already got the paperback on the TBR shelf. Excuse me. So that one, yeah, super stoked. As far as nonfiction, um, let me take a look behind me here. Um, There's, uh, if you're if you're still here, first of all, I'm amazed. Um, <laughs> but second of all, uh, yeah, I, like I said, I, I when it comes to pol history or political-ish stuff, um, I, how do I put this? I said earlier, I have a healthy dose of both sides-itis. Um, where I just think there's a lot of ridiculousness going on, going on in the political discourse right now. Um, I'll try to issue coming down on one side or another, um, but, you know, because my politics, that's not what this show or what the Legendarium is about. It's not about any of our politics specifically, but I will say one book that I read this summer i guess this spring uh that has had a big impact on me i guess it was last summer maybe it was last summer that it came out um but jack butler who you might know from the dune episodes he did a silmarillion episode with us um <laughs> jeff what is that mushroom i do not understand um jack butler's boss jonah goldberg is one of my favorite political writers out there and he wrote a book called suicide of the west um, and it's had a big impact on the way that I think about what's going on right now in the world, not just in not just in the U.S., but uh, in the world at large. And uh, and that one, it's all about kind of tribalism and how we get ourselves in a certain mindset. 
and uh, the reasons for that, the the benefits of it, but also mostly the drawbacks of that kind of tribalistic mindset, the the romantic mindset. He he uh, talks a lot about romanticism and uh, and how it's a slide backward from civilization. He kind of sets those up as romanticism versus um, you know modern civilization and. Uh, it's very, very interesting. So if you are looking for an interesting political book to, it it, it doesn't get really weedy, but it does kind of, uh, I feel like he kind of dissects the the current atmosphere in in the political world right now. So that that's one that I would recommend, Suicide of the West. Um, and I'll, I'll probably stop there. <laughs> Uh, as far as uh, non-fiction books, I mean, you guys have heard me recommend some books on Tolkien uh, frequently, and, and I will always recommend those. Um, so if you, if you haven't, you should read Tolkien's biography. You should read, um, uh, you should read the Tom Shippey books about him, Author of the Century. Um, what's the other one? Author of the Century and... Uh, the Road to Middle Earth. Yeah, those are those are really, really good. So, uh, okay, what other games do you play besides StarCraft? I, uh, so that's my PC game, uh, Dishwa. It is my, um, uh, yeah, that's the one I play on PC, and so it's the easiest to stream, but I also play Destiny. That's more of a relaxing game for me. Like, I don't care about Destiny, um, but it, it's fun. I Don't get me wrong, I find it fun, but I don't, care about like climbing rankings or gaining points or farming for this or that like amazing weapon or armor or whatever um so i've been thinking if i you know if i do make the twitch stream more of a thing then maybe i would get a device that would let me stream the the ps4 more easily um so that's a that's my ps4 game of choice just as far as like what do i go on and mindlessly relax and play um but i did if you there i sent out an email months ago and uh and talked about this but i finished horizon zero dawn earlier this year and was just blown away at how good that game was i couldn't believe how awesome it was i haven't kept up with console games and so i don't have um others to recommend i, I am i a playstation guy i guess so not because I have anything against Xbox um, other than culturally. I, Xbox really made it big while I was uh, in high school with Halo and um, the whole Halo addiction thing. It was real and it was annoying. And um, I saw a lot, of, a lot of friends like basically just lose themselves in Halo for a long time and it was kind of like weirdly sad to see. Um, same thing with World of Warcraft. I've never in my life touched World of Warcraft. Not because I don't think it would be a great game, but because when it first came out I saw a lot of people like really get deep into World of Warcraft. So, um, okay, Alex, have fun on the other stream. It's, uh, yeah, I'm about done here anyway. Sorry about that. Um, but glad to have you. We'll do this again, I'm sure, you know, next weekend or something. So thanks for joining in. And uh, I'm going to call it there. Thanks uh, for listening, everybody. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, thanks for all your support with the show generally. Um, Josh, don't forget to email me and uh, look forward to hearing from you. So thanks, everybody. I will see you later.